Bye bye MMP. Bye bye Sig. There's a new FN in town and goddamn she is sexy. Stay tuned, baby. What's up, Heat Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. If it's your first time tuning in, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because I got plenty more heat like this coming. And also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about today's video. Greatly appreciate it. And if you're looking for any holsters or flashlights, my affiliate links will be pinned in the comment section. Use my link. I also have a discount code for the Olight store. It'll definitely help the channel out. Greatly appreciate it. Now that we done got that out the way, you've seen from the title and the thumbnail that we got a new pickup today, baby. I am so excited. I finally got my first F in. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you why in the intro I said, bye-bye, Sig. Bye-bye, MMP. The reason for that is I actually sold my Sig 365 and I sold my MMP Compact 2.0 to be able to get this gun. So, because the 365, I don't even carry it no more and I actually don't like shooting it either. It just beats my hand up too goddamn much. I'm getting tired of that. So, I don't think I'll ever buy another 365 again. Yeah, it's small. I like how it shoots too. It's pretty snappy and it beats my hand up, but I will see. That thing is accurate, man. It definitely hits where you point it. It's a great gun. It's just not very fun to shoot at the range. I can't even practice with it, man. After like 20 rounds, my finger is killing me. I say, man, I don't need this gun anymore. I got these other guns that are a lot more comfortable to shoot. And if I want something small, hell, I got 380s I can carry. So that 365 is out of there. I'm done with that. And my M&P 2.0 Compact, it's a great gun, but I've had it for about a year and I've still never even put 100 rounds in it. So I think that's saying that I don't need the gun. So I sold it as well at a gun show last weekend. I sold both of them. Came up with some cash to kind of replace some of that money that I spent on this new FN. I can't keep them all, man. You know, I just keep a select few the ones that are really near and dear to my heart. And those two, they not that special to me. But yeah, you seen from the title that I went with the 509C Tactical, of course. But the question is, which one did I go with? What color? So without further ado, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump on the table and get to that Heat Life FN 509C Tactical review. Let's go. All right, here's the FN box, that nice peanut butter box. So you should already know what color I went with. Nah, I'm bullshitting. They all come in this color boxes. <laughs> all right, let's open it up. Nice black case. All right, let's get to it. As you can see, I went with the black. Originally, I was planning on getting the FDE until I seen one in black and then I just couldn't resist. The FDE looks good, I'm not gonna lie, but to me this thing is even sexier in black, so I had to go with the black. It's just personal preference. Whenever I look at this thing in black, it makes my heart sing. Whenever I look at it in FDE, it's nice, but it's not for me. Black it is, baby. And as you can see, I only have two magazines. I don't know how long FN been doing this, but now the tactical version only comes with a 12 rounder and a 24 rounder i was expecting to get a 15 rounder thrown in there when you pay this amount of money for a gun you expect to have all three magazines i was very disappointed whenever i seen that the tactical version no longer comes with the 15 round mag the regular MRD model, the one with no threaded barrel and no night sights on it. That one comes with a 12 rounder and a 15 rounder, but no 24 rounder. The tactical version comes with a 12 rounder and 
a 24 rounder. My beef is, how do you sell a compact with no compact size magazine? This is a subcompact size magazine. This is a goddamn fun stick. Where is the compact magazine? I have to buy it separately. 50 bucks. Ain't that a bitch? But hey, it is what it is. Those gun companies, they do what they want to do. I'll think about it. But anyway, enough with the rambling. Let's get on with it. I just had to let y'all know, if you get the tactical version, don't be surprised because you will not get a 15 round mag. You will only get a 12 rounder and a 24 rounder. It is what it is. And it also comes with another back strap, a slightly thinner version than the one that comes on the gun. The pouch up here, you got your adapter plates for, for whenever you mount your optics. It's compatible with like 10 different optics from what I hear. So there's a lot of options for this gun. That's a plus. Recoil spring. This one is recommended for if I want to run a suppressor. Yeah, the tactical version comes with the threaded barrel, Trigicon night sights, got the optic plate with the ears that cover the sights, protect the sights, but whenever you mount your optic, this will come off with the plate. Slide stop with the guard around it, so that way whenever you're riding it with your grip, you don't ride the slide stop and cause your slide to not lock back on the last round. Nice Picatinny. I plan on mounting a TLR7 on there. And this trigger is pretty interesting. Whenever I first got it, I thought something was wrong with it. It felt really weird and tough and gritty. But I heard after like 500 rounds, it breaks in and feels a lot better. So I'm looking forward to breaking it in and we'll see how it goes after that. A little bit of take up. You hear that? It's really gritty. Nice break though. Not too bad of a reset. But after 500 rounds, we'll see how it's looking then. Probably the most sexy grip texture I've ever seen. I think they were trying to come up with ideas which texture should they use? And somebody in the back said, hey, how about we throw them all on there and see how it looks? So they tried it and God damn it, they loved it. That's what I think happened. And I love it too. Great texture. It's not too aggressive. It looks good and it feels good. Ambi Mad Catch on both sides. Right hand, left hand. Works good. Also the slide stop is ambi as well. Right hand, left hand. Nice front serrations. Nice rear serrations too. They feel very aggressive. Similar to the Smith & Wesson serrations. That's my 509C tactical. So far, I think I made a great choice by giving up two guns that I don't do nothing with for something that I'm really gonna enjoy. That range video will definitely be coming soon. So stay tuned. That's gonna be it. Let's jump back in front of the camera and end the video off. Nice. That FDE is nice. I ain't gonna lie, but ain't nothing like that sexy black, baby. Man. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new pickup. I would greatly appreciate it. If you liked anything about this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Video reaches more people. And also, definitely smash that subscribe button as well because I got plenty more heat like this coming. Because guess what? This new pickup, this ain't it. I got two more coming. <laughs> Brand new pickups, baby. Definitely stay tuned. You don't want to miss out. Because I got some heat for your ass, baby. <laughs> it's coming. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. And don't forget about those affiliate links pinned in the comment section. Flashlights and great quality holsters as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, better. <laughs> better holsters as well. So, great quality stuff. Pinned in the comment section. It would definitely help the channel out. 
Greatly appreciate it. But hey, that's gonna be it for this video, family. I will see you in a few more days because I got plenty more heat coming. Heat Nation, until next time, we gonna holler. Peace.